finally a beautiful sunny day. It is just stunning out with the snow on the trees and the blue sky. It has it's been cloudy. We have not had much sun. The radio weatherman uh, on public radio said that this fall and early winter have been the cloudiest in 35 years and boy we sure feel like it has been cloudy because once the sun comes out oof, everyone feels so much better it's sunday december 9th and i'm looking at my favorite thing in the rearview mirror Ice fishing stuff, because we're going fishing. Fishing for crappies. Uh, we'll see if we catch anything. We have a hit and miss record with fishing for crappies. They are infuriating most of the time. So we'll see how it goes. First one of the year. Sweet. Have you caught crappie through the ice before? No, it's first crappie ever. measure this later but there's the rod that thing is I don't know 14 inches another one little one no, no, it's bigger. let's see what you got here oh, not oh that's not a oh, oh ho Friday, December 7th, and last night it got down to 17 below zero, and it looks like that was all that Gunflint Lake needed to freeze over completely. It's hard to say if it's completely frozen for the whole eight mile length of the lake, uh, but it certainly looks like it from here, but We'll probably give it a week or two before you venture out on that ice. That's a lot of water to freeze. And we are walking out on Seg for the first time. And it, it looks like someone has snowmobiled all the way up the corridor. So it could be that the entire lake is frozen over. But we'll see how much ice is right here. How much is it? Oh my gosh. It is just under 11 inches of ice. They're hard to see, but uh, there's some wolves around on the lake there. And the far one is black, almost jet black, which you don't see too often. <laughs> 